Okay, you have created your first expert advisor and started it in less than 20 minutes. Congratulations. But the question is, what exactly does it trade? To find out what it really does, you will have to look into the source code. We are going to stop the backtesting simulation here, close that window and hit the F4 key. Here we will find almost 180 lines. You might have problems to find out what it really means. So let's do it step by step. Please find this on tick line. It's a so-called function. A function is basically a predefined set of commands that is integrated into MQL5 or coded by a programmer. By default a function will show up in a purple color. Please mark it and hit the F1 key. It will bring up the MQL5 help file and there is a new version available. So we are going to download it now. After the download is finished we will try it again. And here we are. On tick is marked and a context sensitive entry in the MQL5 reference will pop up. And it says the event on tick is generated for expert advisors only when a new tick for a symbol is received. That means when the price has changed. And now we are going to simplify our expert advisor to use only the on tick function. Copy that code and delete all the rest. Hit the compile button and you will see it will compile without any errors. This is a complete working expert advisor and it does absolutely nothing. To change that we are going to write our first line of code. We will use a function called command and if we hit the F1 key we will see that it will need an argument. The command function expects a round bracket and a line of text, a closing round bracket and a semicolon that will tell the compiler that the command is finished. Let's hit the compile button and it was compiled without any errors. Now we are going back into the strategy tester by hitting the F4 key and start a new test. And here is our line of code. It doesn't trade anything because we haven't defined any rules, but it does exactly what you have defined it to do and now you know how it works and why. In the next video we are going to make our little mini expert advisor a little bit more useful.